Right, so we've just made our way into the Mulawati, um, just because it runs kind of a congruent, well, not quite congruently, but it runs close to where those squirrels were alarm calling. I was just checking just to see if anything was lurking, and I thought, well, while we're here, might as well just say a little update on the wigs. As you can see, growing well, feathers developing, um, and starting to look more and more like adult owls by the day. You also can see that they are incredibly hot. Um, there is that gular flutter taking place on the owl on the left I'm just trying to get rid of that excess heat and it's why I think they don't like staying in the nest anymore as you can see how that sun hits them in the mornings and I can assure you that it is hot when you're in the sun especially if you're covered in a whole bunch of thick down feathers um, it's not going to be very very pleasant just the thought of wearing a down jacket right now makes me uncomfortable so I can only imagine how these poor little owls are feeling and that's why it makes sense for them to be able to have a way of getting rid of excess heat and so effectively panting like an animal would. You see the little owls looking at a starling that's come down. There's a starling that obviously is seeing little insects or something lurking around the owls and is very interested. There we go. What do you want, starling? A little grey to blue eared. Look at how that <laughs> the wig is just watching it. The one's watching, the other one doesn't seem too perturbed by this. It's quite cool, isn't it? I don't often see birds getting close to birds of prey. I'm normally a bit wary of them, but clearly the starling does not feel threatened by the two baby wigs. Abigail, I think it might just be you. They certainly don't look less grumpy to me, especially now the way it's just death staring this starling as if to say, what are you doing here? You will not come into our nest. Um, so they always have this kind of grumpy face, but it'll start to change because as the, the adult sort of plumage develops and the way that they kind of, the structure of their face changes slightly and their eyes become a lot more wide and soft. I don't know, softer is probably a better description of them when they get older. Like if you see the adults, yes, they have these beautiful big eyes, but it's always like a soft expression. Not like... The, the little ones that sort of have this furrowed brow and almost look as though they should be in an Angry Birds um, cartoon game. I love how both of them are just watching the starling. It's almost as if they're a little bit nervous of it. The starling seems completely unperturbed by these owls. I don't know what it's grabbing there. It seems to be grabbing stuff off of the grass. I wonder if it's looking for nesting material. No, it is. It's grabbing leaves. You know what it might be also looking for and why it's hanging around is if it is a nesting bird, is to be looking for little down feathers. They make for grace, gr gr I can't speak anymore. They make for great nest liners, not crest, great nest liners. There we go. I'll get it out eventually. Um, so maybe that's what it's trying to kind of find. If it's got a few leaves in its mouth at the moment. It's definitely not a um, food source. Let's see if it grabs that feather there. I see one feather in amongst all of that, and it's busy. It's definitely collecting nesting material. The two wigs are watching it closely though. It's weird though, it's very, very, very fine, very small nesting material. Did I say greater blue eared eagle? The starling, did I say greater blue eared? What did I say, Cape Glossy? No, I think it, did I say Cape Glossy? Well, it is a Cape Glossy, it's not a great to be here now that I look at it. And then the two owls are moving about. This, uh... <laughs> Everybody's like, I'm not sure what you said. It just shows how much Igor listens to me. I always feel like I'm just talking to myself on this car. Igor doesn't like to chat with me anymore. There's also a little Chagra that's going to join in the background too. 
Is it a chagga? No, it's not. I can't even ID birds today. What is wrong with me? Little southern grey headed sparrow. It's just getting some nests. I mean, some seeds. And then obviously the two owls that have stood up and are both smiling now. Maybe that's why they don't look so angry today, is because they're good off fluttering and it almost looks like they're having a little smile and laugh. They are quite cute, aren't they? Anyway, I'll sit with them and watch what they get up to a little bit longer. <laughs> so cute, these little guys. They're getting a little bit of personality now, and you can see they're quite mobile, so moving about and walking and doing their thing. And now that when they stand up straight, it gives you a really nice idea of how big they're actually getting. Um, they're no longer those tiny little fluff balls. They're developing at a rate of knots now, which is cute. <laughs> it does look like that's that insane. Looks like they're wearing little leg warmers. Um, it's super cute. I'm sure they are not finding those fluffy legs cute at all. They're probably hating the fact that those legs are the way that they are. Um, so it's obviously not comfortable.